Hello and welcome to I Am Geek, and this is episode 181. I am Ryan, joined by my brother Chris and our good pal Katrin, and we're coming to you live from the Texas Tundra. And Tennessee. And Tennessee. <laughs> and Tennessee. But mostly Texas. <laughs> Two thirds from Texas. Yeah. Um. So uh, we don't know how long this will last because we are in this craziness right now. I have power at the moment, so we wanted to jump on at our regularly scheduled time and say hello. But if it goes off, it's because we've lost power. Hello, again. Why? Yeah. Well, it may just be me if that happens. So. No. Then it's just, you, you have to you have to carry the show. <laughs> yeah. My big chance. Yeah. If we go off, then Catron's just going to. It's one man show. show. Yeah. But we have, you know, just a little update. Um, it's Thursday. This all started late, well, I guess early Monday morning at our house. 2 a.m. the power went off and stayed off um, for until yesterday, pretty much. So we finally got power back yesterday. So first the power went off and then it came back on for a little bit and then the the water went off. Oh, fun. And then the power went off again. So the power was off, the water was off, and then the cell towers went down. So it was like we were pioneers living in the wilderness. Um, so it's been crazy. There's still people without power here in Houston. I don't know about in Dallas, but. Uh, there's still some people. I believe it's, it's a lot better here. We fortunately did not lose power. Because we're on the same system as a local fire station, special. But <laughs> but our but our internet and our phone service basically have been like out because those are not on the same network. So you know we we've been watching like DVDs like the Pioneer people. <laughs> what year is it, Chris? I don't know anymore. <laughs> poor poor thing. Eighteen hundreds. <laughs> I sent my family to uh, a neighbor's house that had a generator. We, sh- we should have a generator, but we don't. Um, and I stayed here with our dog in the darkness and the cold. And we just like stayed in bed. I took all the covers I could find and just piled on the bed and stayed in. Because it's Texas. You know, we're not, our houses aren't built for this pretty much. And so it was cold. Um, and I, you know, I, I had a big, big brain idea. That's what all the kids say now, right? The big brain idea. I don't know. Yeah. I sure. It's from Among Us. Big brain unit. That's what they say. That, that video game. Trust me, that's what they say. That sounds sus, but that sounds ahead. very sus. I, I don't know. <laughs> I was like, I'll just take the solar lights from the yard and bring them inside. And they lit up the house for the night. Wow. <laughs> Until they died, you know, in the middle of them. Like, I'll say, we haven't had sun in a while here. I don't know. So, well. Yeah, I think it was just like a miracle from God that they lasted. Yeah. But I brought two of them into the bedroom, and I had light in the bedroom all night long. Nice. Um, so that was cool. All night long. So I read a book from a, a great author. If you haven't heard of him, his name is Gary L. Street. Uh, Gary L. Street. Yeah. Gary L. Street? Gary L. Street. Uh, <laughs> is it Gary L. Street Media, or what is it, Chris? Do you know? Dot com? Yes. Or is it Gary Street Media? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. You can find his books on Amazon. Yeah, I don't. I've never heard the L part. So yeah, that's Gary Street Media. Um, but I started reading one of his murder mysteries. Were you scared? No, only one person has died so far because I didn't get far into it. (laughs) Um, (laughs) but it's really good. It's called Cloudland, so you should check it out. Um, but we had fun, and the dog and I had fun staying in bed. Um. (laughs) <laughs> I did play the switch. I was like, what can I do? I'm bored. And I was like, the switch, it's battery powered. So I was really roughing it. <laughs> True. But we have a gas stove so I could cook oh, that's gas nice. stove. Yeah. So that was good. Just whatever I could find in the house. Well, we had no power issues here in Tennessee. It must be nice. <laughs> it was nice. Yeah, the TVA is nice. We've had about, what, five inches of snow here, like accumulated. Um, it's cold, but uh, starting right. to melt. Even in the twenties, it's melting because we've got these huge icicles. That, well, we melting. Did, we didn't really have nothing s- here. We didn't have snow at all, really. There was like really snow. ice, uh, and that was about it. We got quite a bit of snow, yeah. and it has not gone away. 
And yeah. like I said, we didn't lose power, but we have been conserving our energy. We probably, we've been keeping the temp at like 64 oh my gosh. in the house so, uh, to help save energy, but it's, yeah. it's cold. It was in the 40s in our house. Lots of, you know. <laughs> well, I'm not crazy. I mean. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's because we had no power. <laughs> I'm helping, yeah. but I'm I mean, not crazy. Had a reason. <laughs> yeah. Crazy. So in today in Memphis, uh, so I live in Bartlett, and uh, we have our own water system outside of Memphis. So Memphis has MLGW. We have our electricity through MLGW, but not our water. And today they announced that the people on MLGW have to start conserving water, and uh, they need to boil the water. <laughs> so um, here in Bartlett, we don't. It's all it's all great. So, yeah, so far have, anyway. We're supposed to warm up this weekend in the 40s. So we're yeah. we're on a boil water notice. I didn't know that Houston provided a majority of the water to the town I live in, the suburb, <laughs> and they stopped sending us water. Oh. So yeah, it was an epic failure on all ends here in Texas. Yeah, really. Uh, all across Texas, power. I mean, there's still people without power. It's crazy. And there was and there's some people that didn't lose power around here, but then the neighborhood right next to them. Yeah, didn't yeah. have power. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Little, little sus. Little sus. <laughs> uh, somebody wasn't big brain. Maybe Homer Simpson was the one controlling all the everything went. <laughs> oh. Anyways, so we're gonna rush through the not rush through this, but we're gonna have fun. Uh, but first, before we get to our main snowmageddon thing or whatever you want to call it. Um, WandaVision? WandaVision? Episode yeah. 6? Was it episode 6? Uh-huh. Yeah, what do you guys think? Spooktacular. Spooktacular. <laughs> it's so funny, because that's yeah. one of the, the images of that episode. Is spoilers. What I remember spoilers. The most. Yeah, yeah, spoilers. spoilers. Yeah. The, the images of that episode is what I remember the most from the previews, right? Like the trailers that they originally had, because oh, they yeah. showed like them in their costumes, and then you saw the, the pop of them in their costumes and um i thought it was great i liked it mm-hmm. yeah it was it was done really well um mm. lots, lots of lots of new mysteries poking about and everything yeah with, with, uh, with, uh, of course again spoilers with uh pietro, pietro. <laughs> <laughs> and then some mysteries were shot down maybe some Possibly theories theories shot down like Seemed like uh, she was. I think she's still a part of this. Uh, I think she might be in some way, but yeah. I, I, because with Agnes, um, we won't get into the, all the details, but everybody around her couldn't even move, but she could still talk. Yeah. And stuff. Mm-hmm. Like when he would it, pass by somebody, we'd be like, "Ma'am, ma'am," and, and she would just be standing there all still. And then when we got to Agnes, which is, which she was even further away. She could talk to him. Well, he 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 did the no thing no no with before that mind, before that he talked to him. It wasn't like coherent stuff. But, yeah, and she could move a little bit, but then he did that, and then she really started talking. So she wasn't just like in a dead statue. So I don't know. I still think she has something to do with this. No, wait, you... wait, wait. Oh, go ahead. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Oh no, you go right ahead. All right. Do you, so, do y'all think this is like um, a sign that her little world inside of her brain is starting to fall apart? Like everything's starting to go wacky. Everybody's people are getting in, and she's trying to keep it all protected. But there's things just aren't working quite right, and uh, something's maybe invading that space. Or I don't know. So, so my my new theory is, it, and it's based off something a character that I saw online because I completely forgot about this character because he's supposedly going to be a character in Doctor Strange and the Multiverse and this would be a perfect place for him to show up versus the character Nightmare. And Nightmare is a demon who's like a, a god of fear and he lives in people's like dreams, basically. He's fueled by people's nightmares. And he can also manipulate and control people and he can like shapeshift, take the forms of other people that happened before and <clears throat> so i think that he got into her dreams and so when she went and got in vision she was basically like sleepwalking he was using her manipulating her and he's built this whole thing 
with with her powers for a reason. Not sure why. Probably for for the children. <laughs> um, uh, That's probably why. Probably. And um, but she's starting to wake up. And I think that's why things are starting to break down some because she's becoming more aware of everything going on yeah. and she's able to start to control it, manipulate it. And of course, when that starts happening, suddenly Pietro shows up to try and like question yeah. her, bring her back in a little bit. So now when it, when the other characters say she's controlling this, do you, have they ever, they ever said her name like Wanda's controlling this or just keep saying she's controlling this or whatever um Monica Rambo has said it said it was well Wanda. yeah but I mean but like but yeah none of the other yeah. characters have necessarily said that but they've kind of hinted yeah at it I mean could it be a different she I guess is my point. yeah it could yeah. it could definitely be a different she yeah kind of like Maybe that's the trick, you know, <laughs> the twist. Um, the twist. He did. What's Pietro twist? did say, you know, when he unleashes the children or the Wanda's children to go trick or treating. What did he say? He said, um, um, "Release the demon spawn" or something. Yeah, like something that. like that. Yeah. So <laughs> that's you know that would be sort of Mephisto. That's what the comic was based on. Was basically yeah. they were spawns of Mephisto, which so still could be possibly. It, if like even with nightmare he could be harnessing her power to yeah use mephisto's power to make the children or they him. could just be lame and just like none of those characters are going to be around <laughs> and it's just going to be wanda doing it all and agnes yeah. is going to be agnes and i don't know you never know mm-hmm. how deep supposedly go. it'll supposedly it'll all wrap up by the end of this season, and the last was it three episodes? Yep, last three are all going to be an hour. Mm-hmm. So, so ten, right. tonight's an hour, or tomorrow? I believe so. Yeah, yeah. yeah. This next episode. Uh, yep. Stay up really late. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I'm just kidding. If we have power, um, so yeah, I'm trying to think if there's anything else. Oh, basically, at the end, she starts expanding. Yeah. yeah, because Vision fought his way out, yeah. which was poor Vision. Yeah, it's kind of sad. <laughs> yeah, I don't All know what like, he's thinking. He's like, I just gotta keep going. I'm like, it'll be fine if I keep going <laughs> yeah. forward. That's another thing with Pietro. <laughs> Pietro didn't know Vision died because he died before Vision. Yes, died. He would have done. But this Pietro says, "What's he gonna do? Die again?" Because so he yeah. knows that Vision died. That Vision's mm-hmm. dead. He knows a lot of stuff that he shouldn't know. Yes. Mm. So there, there's no. He's he's got to be somebody. Yeah. Creepy yeah. pulling the strings or something. Nightmarish even. Yeah. <laughs> My favorite part is when he asks about her accent, and she asks about his accent. Yeah. What about your yeah. accent? Yeah. They like, never answer either one of them. <laughs> yeah. Because they have perfectly. <laughs> well, I perfect got a new English acting accent. coach. Or American accents. So I'm guessing this is not where mutants are going to be introduced into <laughs> the Marvel universe. Yeah, I don't know. With three episodes left, it's going to be hard. I, I it's yeah. it seems like the perfect place. Yeah, for them to at least get it started. But yeah, there's know. a part of me that thinks that uh, Kevin Fahey or how, however you pronounce his name. Hey. Fahey, Fahey, I don't know, depends on where you're from, I guess. Yeah. Um, <laughs> doesn't want the mutants brought into the Marvel Universe. Because then he has a lot of explaining to do about the bad X-Men movies. Because people are going to be confused. Because if you think about it, kids that didn't, you know, they're younger than us, that haven't seen the X-Men movies, they're going to go on Disney Plus and watch all the X-Men movies and then see all these same characters in the Marvel Universe and be like, well, these Marvel movies are good, but these Marvel movies suck. You know, <laughs> they they dropped the ball on these, so maybe they don't want I mean, to integrate them in those in that form. You know, you don't know. There's, I mean, it, it's not that there's no bad movies on Disney Plus. So, uh, <laughs> I mean, Mister Mister Boogity. Well, no, yeah, <laughs> well, no, but you know what I'm saying. Like, if they bring in the Marvels, or if they bring in. X Men 
into the Marvel Universe, they may just scrap the whole Fox X Men and just not use any of those actors. Not use any of those. Oh, I, yeah, I doubt they'll use any of those actors for the X Men. Because one of the rumors was that Magneto is, is going to show up and yeah. it's going to be either uh-huh. Ian McKellen or other dude <laughs> that played Magneto. That other guy. Which, I mean, they could do if it's playing a version like Pietro. Yeah version of them it's not really them but they've been cast in the role yeah i think the only uh, x-men type character that's safe for the marvel universe is deadpool <laughs> as far as the actor that played him. oh yeah oh okay i was like <laughs> no no as, as far as like coming in safe. coming in from <laughs> coming in from the fox universe to the yes, disney marvel he, universe, i think ryan reynolds <laughs> deadpool is the only character that's safe yeah, there's there's money to be made there. Yeah, so they're not gonna all the other actors. It's just sort of like hmm, maybe, maybe not. <laughs> yeah, if if Hugh Jackman was still doing Wolverine, they would probably bring him in as Wolverine. Yeah, any other one, they've had several different people playing all those characters so far. Yeah, so it's like we can do another one. It's fine. Yeah, but I don't, I, it was a good episode. I liked it a lot. Of course, it's Halloween, so I, mm-hmm. I love the Halloween. I love that they used all their costumes, like from the comics, which was just funny. Yeah, and um, yeah, that just cracked me up. I'm a what? What she call herself? A, a fortune teller or, or gypsy? What is, yeah, gypsy. <laughs> Jacobian gypsy. And you're a Mexican <laughs> luchador. <laughs> yeah, I know how you love luchadors. <laughs> But I thought the Malcolm in the Middle thing was like spot on funny. Oh yeah, it was yeah, great. Funny. That's so funny. This week is going to be um, Modern Family. Yes, it's There's already a clip out. Yeah, it's uh, a clip out. I haven't watched it. It's it's nothing. It does. <laughs> it's just like her talking to the camera goes, "I don't know what I'm going to do," and that <laughs> like they would on Modern Family. That's all it is. Um, so yeah. So that's going to be interesting, especially if it's an hour long. Are they going to stay with the Modern Family the whole hour, or are they going to switch in the middle of it? I don't know. So they do Modern Family this week. Are they going to do other? Si- I mean, or is Big it pretty much? Theory. Is this pretty yeah, much the end? The, future. the end yeah, of the sitcom? Like comment. Yeah. Yeah. They go to the Walking Dead. That's it. <laughs> I'll be looking forward to it. And then again, at the end of the season, we'll do a big round table. With probably Ray Chase, maybe some other people. So look forward to that. But since we have been stuck in this weird um, winter weather, we thought we would sort of give our top five s- snow movies. Winter storm movies, movies that have snow in them. Snowmageddon's, lots of snow. snow. Yeah, <laughs> or snow. They have some to do with snow. Some of mine, maybe just a little part of the movie has to do with snow. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I think Chris is is all just like. I, well, I tried snow. to do ones that snow was at least integral to the movie. Like, if yeah. if there wasn't snow in there, then then the the plot would be different. It would be yeah. different. I got a couple like that. Yeah. Yeah, we want you know we want to hear your guys' thoughts too, so you can leave it in the comments um, on YouTube or Facebook or <laughs> wherever. <laughs> you can just <laughs> randomly send us a letter with your top five <laughs> snow movies. Please send us a letter. I'd love to get a letter. <laughs> We'd read it on the air. Yeah, we would. We would. <laughs> We'd frame that thing. Send us an email at imgeekshow at gmail dot com. Yeah, it was weird when we lost. Um, phone power, everything. I was like, "What do I need to do now? Like, is it a carrier pigeon to contact people?" Hey, just enjoy the, the silence. For I a did, little bit, you know. <laughs> I did. I actually did. And read a book. Yeah, it was it was very nice when the when not, when not. the when the family was <laughs> at the other house and it was just quiet and I could actually read a book because I can't remember the last time I read a book. Yeah. So that was nice. We also we also built Lego. Oh, don't drop it. What's the friend set? Oh, that's friends. <laughs> what did you think? I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, it's this random. Um, Where's the roof on it? Group of people. Uh, it's on fire. Oh, that's right. <laughs> All right. So, are we doing the? I didn't. Mine is in no particular order. 
pretty much. I did an order. Oh, you didn't? Oh, I guess I need to I do that. Then. Oh, okay. okay. I'm a little more prepared, it seems like. Uh, it seems like it. <laughs> well, he's been do- just being able to sit around the house and do nothing, so of course he's more prepared. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? No, it's no, uh, Miss Catron, this, this episode will not end on a cliffhanger. <laughs> or will it? <laughs> I believe she's referring I know. to the movie. <laughs> Snow movie. <laughs> <laughs> that was one that I saw, but I, I didn't pick that one. <laughs> Anyways, okay, who wants to, uh, I just want to do one at a time, or do you want to? Yeah. Just do yeah. one at a time. I mean, I don't think we should all say them at the same time. All right, three, two, one, one two, three, and... go. Either order. Chris, since you have your in order, what's your well, number well, five? I'm going to choose a different number five because I feel like you're going to have number five. So, I don't. Uh, I don't have cliffhanger. <laughs> I do have that listed, but that's an alternate. Uh. Um, <laughs> actually, I'm going to go. Uh, I'm going to go with this with another number five. Uh, the thing. You know, I, I thought about putting that, but it breaks one of my rules for movies, so I couldn't put that down. Yeah, the dog. Yeah, but it's 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 super creepy. The snow Classic. plays plays a big part of it. Well, which one though? Which one are you picking? The original. I'm okay, good, good, good. The original thing, um, John Carpenter's thing. Because um, uh, yeah, it's it's such a creepy movie. It's a it's a who done it with an alien, um, in the snow. In the snow. That's snow. Who done it in the snow with an alien. Okay, yeah, got it. Who done it in the snow with an alien? That sums it up perfectly, <laughs> really. Because um, it's so creepy. The special effects like are, are crazy in it, like all practical stuff with like the guy's stomach opening and like chomping down on the guy's arms and stuff. And really creepy and disgusting. Mm. And like the snow plays a good part on, of it because like if it was like say in like I don't know. Kansas, <laughs> like <laughs> thing go anywhere or whatever, but it's trapped in this isolated Antarctica. Yeah. Antarctica. So I mean, it's it's it 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 really kind of brings it in and focuses it and isolates the characters. So yeah, I went through the house. They had a house at Halloween Horror Nights, wasn't it? Yes. It was cool. It was cool. Did we go through that one? I don't. Know, I did. I uh, I feel like I went through that one, but I think it was maybe it was in L.A. They alternated it. Yeah. Those things. It was cold. They made it really Thanks. cold in the house. Yes, they did. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> Katrin. <laughs> yes. Grace us with your snow movie. I thought you didn't do order like me. I'll, I'll, I, I'm going to try to do an order. Oh, but, uh, I'm going to have to so try I, to do I've an got, order. <laughs> I've got the day after tomorrow. Uh, Which you're going to tell us the day after? I mean, that's going to be a I'm long podcast. Tell you later. Uh, after tomorrow, yeah. Oh, that's good. Uh, the, no, day the, the day after tomorrow. The day after tomorrow, which kind yeah. of feeds into the whole uh, climate change um, propaganda. No, I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, climate cool. change oh, theories, go. and uh, the, you know we're ignoring it, and then all, you know this is going to happen, and it, and it happened. All this snow came in and froze everything, and um, I like the movie. I, I remember seeing it in the theater. Um, I hadn't thought about it in a long time until we thought about doing this list. And, uh, um, yeah, they're trapped. I just remember they were trapped in that big building. I can't remember what it was. Was it like a library or something like that? Or I don't know if I've ever I, seen the movie. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, it's got... There's Dylan. like a mall. Yeah. There's a mall trapped mall. in at one point. Um, but they're trying to get through... Like flash freezes. There was like flash yeah. freezes. Yeah. yeah, I don't think I've seen it because when you said the title, I was like, "Which zombie movie is that?" <laughs> and then I was like, "Oh wait, no, that's the one with the, the um, yeah. Statue of Liberty on the front of it, frozen." Yes. No zombies. Yeah. No that's, zombies. I, I wouldn't mind I'm sure that's an actual movie. No zombies. No that's zombies. Forty four percent Rotten Tomatoes. So and six point four out of ten on IMDb. So it, I, I don't know. It wasn't the best movie in the world, but. Um, there is a zombie movie that happens in the snow, and the zombies are Nazis. Yes, I've seen that. <laughs> I have too. <laughs> <laughs> I forget the name, but I'm sure it's on Amazon, so you should go watch it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> Anyways, oh, my turn. Oh, yes. yes. I don't have it in order. That's the thing. It doesn't matter. Let me look. It does. We'll, All right. We'll we'll, we'll, we'll make this. A little bit. We'll make this the order. 
Krampus. Krampus. <laughs> I love that movie. It's so stupid. It, I forgot to tell great. you all that I saw the um the costume or a prop or something at the Halloween store this year. Like oh, the, Krampus. The, oh, yeah. Yeah. It was like yes. Krampus is like National Lampoon's Christmas vacation with monsters pretty much. It's just like so ridiculous. They're trapped in the snow. Uh, mm-hmm. Krampus comes. He's got these creepy little elves, and um, so it's like, the, yeah, it's just, it's just funny. <laughs> There's just so many like s- stupid, funny like horror scenes in it. Um, they had a house at Halloween Horror Nights. It was like one of my favorite houses to go through. It was so funny. Um, but, but yeah, it's it's if you haven't seen it, I mean, it's not for kids, but it's a fun <laughs> it's snow movie because yeah, they're it's, literally it's snowed in comedy horror yeah yeah it's who done it who who did it oh krampus did it. krampus krampus <laughs> a very like short who done it yeah oh it was krampus oh it was krampus oh okay well, that <laughs> like there's like these uh, uh there's an attic scene i think where this toy like jack in the box or something like comes out and or yeah. something it's like crazy it's been a while since i've seen it but i always remember that one i'm like ooh, i want to watch that one sometime um, well, there we go krampus We'll say number five. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? All right. Well, I guess uh, my number four uh, is going to be Groundhog Day. Are you... <laughs> <laughs> that was really loud in the mic. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Hey, but Katrin, you can say Groundhog Day and just pretend like it just right. started over. Yeah, yeah. It, it doesn't matter. That's, a... it, that's how Groundhog Day works. That was the one I wasn't sure if we could include because no, I mean, is it, it integral though that it was yeah, snowing? like they're they're trapped in the town, they can't get out because of, of oh, that's right, thing. you're right, that's right, I forgot. So that's that's so he can't leave the town because of the snowstorm, because he thinks that maybe that's why he's trapped here because the snowstorm stuff. He tries to leave and he keeps dying basically, or ends up back in his bed with stuff playing. I mean, it's it's like one of the one of the better Bill Murray movies. Yeah, and it's relevant because it's February right yes. now, too. <laughs> and the Groundhog February. did say it was going to be winter again. Yeah. yeah, So it works. It's my wife's, one of his, uh, her least favorite movies. <laughs> she oh, hates really? movies. <laughs> it gets no. dark. Like, yeah. Like, it's oh, yeah. Dark it's dark at dep- one point. But, um, but it ends up being a feel-good movie. Um, yeah. Punches Phil in the, like, punches that one guy in the face. Phil? Phil? <laughs> 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 so yeah so that yeah that, that would be my number four great choice and now everything starts over okay that's what's right your, what's so your next one, my next one my wife hates this movie it's called groundhog day <laughs> oh <laughs> familiar okay um is that your next one really no it's not <laughs> so Ah, I don't want to. I'll do an honorable mention right now. I don't think this will work, but uh, Empire Strikes Back. Can we say oh, that one? Or... <laughs> that was one of mine. Okay, you could say it. I don't have to. No, no, no. You said it. You've already, you've already uttered the words into existence. Okay. Um, Empire Strikes Back. Um, yes. Y'all remember the uh, the scene? Um, Bonnie, quit, quit, quit telling us all the movies. Ah, ruining our list. Hoth is a ice planet, I guess. Is oh, it, I don't know. No planet? Sure yes. So, um, Probably one yeah. of the greatest snow scenes in, in movie yeah. history. Yeah. The Battle of Hoth. Cinema history. Yes. Yeah, really cinema cold. history. I mean, that that was pretty integral to the first part of the movie. Oh, yeah. Right? Because like, <laughs> yeah, he almost just... dies. Luke almost dies. Then Han almost dies. And they cuts open the thing. I can't Don't think know. of it. Tauntaun, thank Tauntaun, you. Yeah. Uh, and you, you can put them in. I had to do that here in Texas the other night. I had a cope and a cow and get inside of it to keep warm. <laughs> <laughs> I love the sleeping bag you can get. That yeah. It looks like a Tauntaun. I want yeah. one of those. And the insides look like the, the guts. <laughs> yeah. They are. Yeah. They're sewed up. Yeah. They look like the guts. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, um, so, so you're not yeah. okay, Ryan, with the dog dying in the thing, but you're totally okay with the tauntaun dying. Tauntaun's imaginary not real. Animal. It's an imaginary animal. It doesn't They're count. They're adorable. They don't count, though. They're not <laughs> no, real. Not. I do feel sorry for him, though. I do, like, too. That thing's going to die. But it's just like, hey, it's either him or Luke. 
Yeah. Luke has to die later, it, a meaningless death. Technically <laughs> fell over and died anyway, <laughs> on its own. Died yeah, yeah, that's true. He did. So it was his fault for not wearing a coat. Because they told him, like, you go out there, your Tauntaun's going to die. Yeah, and he does. He falls <laughs> over. And then <laughs> Han Solo like uses a, a lightsaber, which is... He's not a Jedi that makes it special. He uses lightsabers. Everybody's like, only the Jedi lose light, lightsabers. No, Han Solo did. And the Empire Strikes Back. You can't say that, people. That's true. And then Finn <laughs> used one. Well, technically, probably Jedi now. Yeah, he's know. probably force sensitive. Uh, I mean, to with the Chris, if you count the Christmas Lego special. Oh, oh that's yeah. true. <laughs> yeah, count that. He's a Jedi. Yeah. 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 Which that does count. It's canon. Yeah. <laughs> So oh, by the way, I agree with you. Okay. I, I wouldn't put it that low on the list because that's you know uh, shameful. Yeah. But I, you know, I didn't include it because I knew you would. But at the same I'm time, sorry. like it wasn't the snow. It it was a part of the movie, but it wasn't integral, integral to the movie. Yeah. Wow. That's All why right. I didn't. All right. So for, real quick, there's another. There's a new um, game coming to the Switch that's uh, supposed to be part of canon, Star Wars canon. Mm-hmm. But it's a Star Wars game that's coming later this year to the Switch and mobile. I'm glad it's a Star Wars game that's part of Star Wars canon and not like a Star Trek game part of Star Wars. Canon. I mean, well, they're just saying it's actually going to yeah. be part of canon. I'm just telling you. I, I saw <laughs> the little teaser trailer and then somebody commented under it. I see why it's on the Switch. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, I was like, oh my. But I will probably be getting it. Oh, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. So, all right, we ready to move on for me, my yeah. turn? Yeah, now I got to figure it out. I got to re- recalculate, redo everything right. here. I didn't say your other one that was said in the chat already, too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Don't read the chat. <laughs> oh, no, I got to look. Uh, but that would be higher on my list, so I can't really put that now. I know. No, I know. You mean give you another one? No, I've got another one. Uh, how about... If full running's on there? Let's see if this counts. <laughs> uh, the Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe? Oh, you son of a... Oh, you took one of mine. <laughs> Did I really? <laughs> my top one. Yeah. Not my top one. It was oh. going to be my next one. <laughs> we're just going around, we're taking each other's. Yep. Yeah, it's the name of the game. <laughs> <laughs> but it's just like you got the snow, the Snow Queen. You've yeah, got yeah. the uh, yeah. yeah. It's it's a classic. It's a, it's a it's a classic. I mean, it's 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 a great book. They and then they made a, a really great movie of it. Um, if if you ever get the chance, watch the BBC movie versions of them. <laughs> crazy, they're crazy fun. Um, but yeah, this one is is done really well. Uh, Rhythm and Hughes, uh, the company um, that worked on the the graphics and the the, the visual oh. effects and everything. I'm sure I knew that, but I forgot. Yeah, they did they did, did a great job with it. I will never forget going to Hollywood Studios and be able be able to walk through the um, wardrobe display. wardrobe. I started to call it the <laughs> cupboard, the wardrobe, yes. and being by the light post, like with snow falling, and you could stand that was beside really it. Cool. Yeah, that's that was cool. really cool. I did get to do that. That was fun. Yeah, and they had like actual, like yeah. well, an actual snow, yeah, fake snow, fake snow down. falling. Yeah, yeah but it was such a good movie. It's got a good yeah. story, um, mm-hmm. good meaning behind it. Liam Neeson, Santa Claus in it. That the Ice Queen mm-hmm. was probably the most terrifying queen, Ice Queen I've ever seen. Like the the look on her face and her eyes yeah. were just. Stone mm-hmm. cold, you know, but it was uh, like <laughs> I don't know uh, why somebody would sell their family out for Turkish delight. <laughs> not that good. Because it's not really that good. I mean, well, you gotta think of the time he's coming yes, from. I mean, no. they're in a war. Yeah. There's not much you could get. He probably hasn't had it in a while, so he's got the childhood memories. It's like, well, oh, that used to be so good. And then when he got it, it's like, oh. <laughs> but think about what people eat over there. I mean, they're they're, they're <laughs> over there. Different than it's what we the have. British, um, right? They they the things they eat are weird. So, yeah, dick. yeah. <laughs> Beep. No. <laughs> but you know, afterwards, like he he sells his sells his family out for this Turkish delight. You know that little dude and the Snow Queen are like, I can't believe he did that. That's so lame. <laughs> <laughs> that actually worked. <laughs> They actually had I was going to give them like half the, the kingdom. <laughs> <laughs> what do we do with all this gold now? Uh, <laughs> Guess we'll keep it. We'll keep it. <laughs> anyway, it, that that series of books is my favorite series. Um, it's 
Did really I hear good. We, I read that with my my son, Aww. and we just finished it a while back, and um, it's so good. Are they making something else, another movie or TV series or something about it? Did I hear? I wish about they would. That? They are going to be making something else um, with it, I believe. I think they are going to be redoing it. Um, maybe a TV series. Good. Yeah. They need to. Right. Yeah, because well, they didn't finish the books. They never nope. finished the books. <laughs> no. They, the last movie was The Voyage of the Dawn Treader, and it was mm-hmm. fine. But... Yeah. It was fine. <laughs> yeah. It was fine. The first one was the best. They, they kind of trailed off after the first one, you know. It was kind of hard because all the kids got really old. And... Yeah. The thing on Disney I, Plus is really cool. Have you seen the thing, the prop um, show, and they got the mm-hmm. cast together to show oh, cool. them props from the movies? Yes. And the kids yeah, are like cool. grown up and stuff. It was really cool mm-hmm. to see the, cool. yeah. the yeah. actors and stuff. That was really cool. Um, Very cool. Are we on to, uh, of course, this is number three. <laughs> well, let's see what else you could take from it. It was The Lion, Witch, and the Wardrobe. It's not going to be any more. Um, I think I'm just going to go off book here and go out of order now. Oh. Uh, Yep, in case he gets some, taken. Yeah, he doesn't want to get case taken. In case this, this, this one gets taken, this would have been my number one, but I'm just, oh, I want to no, say it now. It's going to be huh? what, something I'm going to pick. It's going to be Die Hard 2. Oh, that's not. Okay. <laughs> my wife asked me if we were going to say that because everybody says it's a Christmas movie. It's, it's well, be, no, no, that's the first I, one. No, I, know. I know. I told her. I was like, yeah. But it was funny. <laughs> Die Hard 2, though, has a big snow element to yeah. it where they're at the airport. There's a huge snowstorm that's hitting. <laughs> The visibility's down, yeah. and John McClane's got to kick some butt again um, with his mother, more terrorists. Um, it, it, uh, it's, it's good. Like, it's still a good, like, Die Hard is a great movie. Uh, Die Hard 2 is still a good movie. Like, for, I mean, it's a sequel, so you know how sequels typically go. But it's, it's still a really good movie. Um and yeah, I, I don't know much else to say about it. It's just, it's, it's good. Yeah. <laughs> it's got, it's got, it's got like a twist to it. It's got a, it's got a nice little twist to it with, um, with some additional enemies that you're not quite expecting. Um, but, um, but it, it's, it's good. The villain's still good. The first I heard. But Bowser? Is that what you said? Yeah. Bowser? The villains Bowser. that you're not expecting. So, <laughs> the Bowser. not expecting him. Bowser! <laughs> Comes in and takes John McClane's wife. <laughs> so I, apparently that wasn't on your guys' list. No, it uh, wasn't. I didn't even think uh, about I that. I saw it when I Googled, but that wasn't one I picked. Oh. Well, Catherine, should give me one that's probably one on my list. <laughs> <sighs> I know this one. I don't know. It might, yeah, it's probably on yours. Um, I'll just go ahead and go with Frozen. Um, oh, no, it's, it's on my list. list. <laughs> okay, good. Well, good. I was hoping it wasn't. Um, I, I don't Frozen know 1 over Frozen 2? Frozen 1, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Cuz it is the main theme of it is it's the town of Arendelle or country or whatever it is got frozen over. Right. It was summer and it got frozen, right? So um the title is right there. Listen. Right. <laughs> what? It's right there. What's What's the funny? Title of the movie. Right there. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> when you look at the the results on Google, you see this other movie called Frozen. Yes. And there's a guy hanging <laughs> yeah. from a, a I saw it too. A ski lift thing, right? <laughs> I was like, that's not it. But <laughs> I've I've listened to that movie so many times um, on car trips because and I can't see what's on the screen behind me, but uh, I don't know if I've watched it that many times really. Oh, I've seen it a bunch. But this cold yeah. does bother me. A long time. <laughs> <laughs> but I figured that was probably an obvious one yeah. that I went ahead because one. my other ones were t- taken. So you know, sorry, I go to the bottom of this now. So do I go for an honorable mention here, or do I continue on my list? Since I, Empire Strikes Back has been knocked out already, do I go for the honorable mention here? Well, I mean, if you got one, nope. I've got one, um, and it's I've only seen this movie once, so I could watch it again and be like, yeah. Hey, <laughs> um, the Hateful Eight. I don't know. Yeah, I know. I don't know if I've ever. Watched it was it. good, from what I remember. So basically, um, there's this bounty hunter, Kurt Russell. He's got a bounty with him, and it's a snowstorm. So they have to take. Um, they have to go in this cabin, like this. Uh, it's like a hotel type thing for the old west in the middle of nowhere. It's where the people could seek refuge. 
And there's another bounty. They pick up um, Samuel Jackson, and he's another bounty mm-hmm. hunter on the road there because he's like stuck in the snowstorm. And then they get there, and there's this weird cast of characters stuck inside this cabin. And Kurt Russell reveals that somebody is not who they say they are. And somebody's there to try to rescue his person that he's taken in to mm-hmm. get hanged or whatever for the dead or alive thing. Cause his, his name is like, uh, his nickname's like hangman or something. He always brings them in alive so they can hang. He never kills them. So if it's dead or alive, he always brings them in alive. So he's trying to keep his bounty alive, which is this woman. And then craziness, you're trying to figure out who is actually the person trying to, um, you know, take the, the bounty lady, mm-hmm. but it's pretty good. I mean, it's, um, what's his name? Wow. Tarantino. Yeah, Tarantino. So it's one of his movies, but it's a pretty mm-hmm. good movie. It's a good watch. Um, so that was my honorable mention. It does fully happen in a huge snowstorm. <laughs> That's one reason I picked it, <laughs> because the whole movie revolves around this snowstorm. Uh, mm-hmm. And it's got a good cast of characters. You know, Samuel Jackson, Kurt Russell. Um, I'd have to look up the rest of them, but they're all like top tier actors. Um, mm-hmm. And so they do a good job. So there's my honorable mention since Empire Strikes Back. <laughs> there you go. So I got two left, and I hope you guys don't take either one of them. I know I won't take. Well, one I, got, of I don't know if I'll, uh, I don't know if you've seen this one or not. So I don't know. This is my last one on my list, and then last I'll have one. To do, like nine. I'll have, to do an, I'll have to do an honorable mention. Oh, uh, okay, okay. Next time. Uh, the the this was going to be my number two. So it it went um, the thing, Groundhog Day, Lion, Witch, Wardrobe, this movie, and then Die Hard two. This movie. But, this movie is 30 Days of Night. Uh, I don't know if you guys know that movie. Is that a zombie movie? It's a vampire movie. Okay. <laughs> Sounds like <laughs> some kind of movie like that. I've heard of the movie. It's a, vampire yeah. movie. It's, it's a good movie. Like the, I love the premise of the movie because uh, basically it takes place in this small Alaskan town. And at a certain time of year, it's basically like 30 days a night. Like it gets really mm. cold, the snowstorms come yeah. in, so people can't leave, they can't travel, so they're basically stuck here. So vampires, being you know, they don't like sunlight, and have figured out like, well, we can just go from town to town basically within this time period and like feast, yeah. and no one will know, and we'll stay hidden and everything. They can survive through the cold. Um, it's like Josh Hartnett, I believe, is the main actor in it. Oh. Um, so it's it's really creepy. Like the vampires in it just like look really creepy. Some of them just like they they just look off. Like they don't look like necessarily monstrous. They're not done up with a whole bunch of makeup or anything. They just they look just like like they're not quite right. To yeah, them. Like they just look evil. And um, and it's just done. It's I think it's done really well. And it's just, it's it's um, it's so claustrophobic at times because mm. yeah they there's nowhere they can go but yeah it's uh that would have been my number two mm. with die hard two being number one <laughs> <laughs> nice okay Tim. all right so my next one is uh this movie called groundhog day and it's uh <laughs> oh, sorry <laughs> no, do it. This point, just no, keep the bit going. No, just, uh... I, don't, I, don't, I don't want to. <laughs> I'm not going to do that. Um... <laughs> Dead air. Dead air. I'm going to, sorry, I'm I'm going to go with Home Alone. Um, All right, I'll give my, it to you. He's, he's stuck in his house uh, in the snow. And There's uh, snow, so, you know. Yeah, there's snow get... in it. And uh, he has to walk to the store in the snow, and it's cold. <laughs> so, mm-hmm. fights the bad guy in the snow. In the snow. <laughs> With some snow. If you haven't seen I'm, Home Alone, it's about this little boy. <laughs> Kevin McCausker. Kevin. <laughs> oh, good. Oh, so, I'm glad you picked Home Alone instead of, like, Home Alone 4. Oh, that's... Number one, but anyways. Oh. <laughs> All right. It. This one, um, I guess will be my number two. It's pro- is one of my favorite comedies, I think, of all time. Uh, Misery. And it's, yeah. 
thing's hilarious. The main, <laughs> like the the climax of the story, is all re- revolved around skiing, and so the whole thing's revolved around skiing, sort of. But do you guys remember "Better Off Dead" with John Cusack? Probably. Oh wait, yeah. Oh man. So it's this teenager who um, his girlfriend dumps him, and he decides he's just going to end it all. So he keeps trying to find. Keeps basically getting really low, and he's going to kill himself. But every way keeps he keeps failing, and then he meets this uh, neighbor who's like a foreign exchange student. It's this French girl, and then they sort of um, fall in love. But then he challenges the dude that stole his girlfriend to um, a, to a ski race. Okay. Hmm. It's really funny. Yeah, <laughs> I was watching clips earlier. I was like, oh man, I want to find that movie to watch. So I was watching clips. There's a, a paper boy that that always throws the paper through their garage windows and he comes asking for the money for the paper. It's like, you owe me $2. So the whole movie, this little paper boy is following this guy around going, you owe me $2. <laughs> <laughs> Which is funny that supposedly when one time Cusack was arrested in real life and taken to jail. And when he was walking through the jail to, to his cell, everybody in the cells were going, give me my $2. <laughs> uh. <laughs> but if you haven't seen better, I mean, Chris, I'm surprised you haven't seen this movie because I've watched it like so many times. I probably have. I don't really remember it. It's been so long. It's just one of those 80s comedies that is just like just stupid and funny. And like the mom, his mom, it's at Christmas time and she gets everybody TV dinners for Christmas. I know how you like the brownie (laughs) in this one. So I got this one for you. She like wraps them up and stuff. It's (laughs) it's funny. It's yeah, it's, it's like he was in every 80s comedy, I feel like though, but um, there aren't a lot of them. Any, not everyone, but it was funny. I did, I did like him as an actor. Yeah, so that was my number two. Number two. Everybody probably knows my number one. So, oh, it's said like three times. Yeah, the chat already. Yeah, <laughs> that's, that's why it hasn't been said yet because it's my number one. Okay, we Chris, spoke your dad's name, and he's he's there now. Oh yeah, we we got a new book out too. Gary Street's got a new book out. The Western. Mm. Mm. I'm going to say the name wrong. I don't. <laughs> so you're not going to say it. Hard biscuits and empty saddles? Cold biscuits. Empty, and empty, saddle, biscuits. empty saddles and cold biscuits. I always, say, I always want to say cold. hard biscuits. It's cold biscuits. Empty saddles and cold biscuits. Rubber biscuits. <laughs> Takes place in Texas. Right. Oh. Well, so I'll, I'll, I'll say for my next one is the sh- no. <laughs> no, um, I want to go because, like, most of mine, like, even some of my other ones, like, because I had as alternate, I had die, the day after tomorrow. I had that as an alternate. Yeah. Nobody um, had better off dead, though. But, um, I want to go with it was mentioned in the comics, the comments, um, because, <laughs> because we watched this recently again, uh, Cliffhanger. Oh, there yeah. we go. There it is. <laughs> Little sly. It's such a ridiculous movie. <laughs> it's so, like the, the villains like could easily have gotten away with everything, but they keep just doing stupid stuff. Like the, like so basically they rob they it's a it's a plane robbery in flight. Of course. And and they and they steal all this money or whatever. And but when they're transferring it from one plane to another, they lose the the cargo and it, it falls onto this mountain. And their plane crashes and they somehow survive. And, <laughs> and and they they they've got these beacons on these things so they can they can you know find them. But like the these like mountain mountaineer people or whatever rescue people come out to help them. Well, actually, they tricked them to come out to help them so they can help them find the cargo. And really, all they had to do was have them climb the mountain to get the stuff, bring it down to them, shoot them and leave. <laughs> <laughs> but wait until you get the cargo. That's all they had to do. But no, like the first bag they find, they send Stallone up there to get him, and they take his winter coat off for some reason. Like, oh, you're not going to go anywhere because we've got your coat. <laughs> Go up there and get it. So he goes up there and gets it. And his, and his buddies, um, which is um, Merle from Walking Dead, 
uh, is standing there next to him. He's like, you know what? We only need one of you guys. Let's just shoot this guy when he comes back down. And of course, his friend's like, don't come down. They're going to shoot you. <laughs> He's like, oh, well, I'm not coming back down. Why didn't they just shoot and, the other guy? Well, they needed one of them to climb and get the other stuff. But like, all they had to do, they didn't have to say anything. Yeah, just sh- they, just, they, just shoot him. Just shoot him. <laughs> when the guy came back down, just shoot him. That was it. Yeah. Oh, well. And there's several instances in the movie where it's just stupid. I'm glad that's your number one. Like that. <laughs> yeah. It's not my number one. It's an alternate. <laughs> You know, they got in trouble for that movie because uh, the, one of the carabiners that they had, I think it was a carabiner or a, um, like a clip, um, was like a certain brand, like a diamond something, I can't remember. And uh, supposedly it broke in the movie. Mm-hmm. And the company's like, these don't break. You know, it's like, ours don't break. That's, that's false, you know. So um, they got in a little bit of trouble. I mean, <laughs> but if, it was if, just, yeah. If you want some 90s action movie now. Yeah. And if you want Watch some 80s comedy, better off dead. It revolves around <laughs> suicide for some reason. Yeah. So. Hilarious. <laughs> yeah. Hey. Um, Patron. Get off. All right. My last one is called the sh- um, Cool Runnings. Hey, man. Oh, I'm glad I didn't hey, pick man. that one. I was gonna, <laughs> it was between that one and Cliffhanger. I, was, yeah. what I, was gonna pick. I thought about I was, that one, It too. was one of my alternates, too. I, but I, I did like the movie. Um good movie if, if you're not familiar it's the four jamaican bobsledders that dream of competing in the, the winter olympics and they get their chance so they go to the winter olympics and go for the glory <laughs> or the glory. john candy john, john, it candy. Does have john candy he's he's before. like the trainer or something i guess i can't remember mm-hmm. the coach yeah coach yeah that's it. another john candy movie that made the list of the snow movies and i know this isn't ryan so i'm going to say it is plane trains and automobiles oh that's a good one too that yeah yeah, that would have been a good one. But, um, yeah. All right. Cool are you runs. ready for my number one? Yes. What's it going to be? <laughs> Jack Frost. <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> no. <laughs> the horror version, right, of Jack Frost? No, wait. Yes. What was the other one with the... There was a claymation one. No, no. Jack, or was, that was something different. The one where well, the dude turns into the Michael snowman. Keaton Michael Keaton one. one. It was Jack uh, Frost. But then there was a horror movie that was yeah. called Jack Frost as well. Oh, yeah. It was a, yeah. a killer That's snowman. That's what I was thinking. Yeah, of. they do weird stuff with the carrot nose in that movie. <laughs> like what, Ryan? The make, a, make a salad. <laughs> That's not weird. <laughs> oh, no, no. So my real number one would be The Shining. I think it's, I mean, I think it's. it should be on everybody's list. For like a it, winter snow it, movie, it was it was on my list, um, but yeah, I figured you were going to pick it, so I went with yeah. I put thing I mean, in its place. I and and honest truth is, I think I prefer the miniseries over the movie. I do too. Yeah, hmm. I like the it's, movie. Don't get me wrong, the movie's great, mm-hmm. but I like the 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 miniseries with the dude from Wings. And it's filmed at the Stanley Hotel, which is where Stephen King wrote the book. Mm-hmm. Because Stephen King didn't even like the movie. No, well, it, they changed a lot of stuff. Yeah, the the mini series is more in line with the the books. And if you stay at the Stanley yeah. Hotel, it's the mini series is what's playing on all the TVs all the time mm-hmm. on a loop. <laughs> <laughs> It's the only thing you can watch there. I would like to watch the miniseries again, but I don't know where you would find it. We watched it again at one point. It may be on YouTube or something. I'll have to look and see if I can find it. But yeah, but mm-hmm. the, but the Stanley Kubrick one is great too. It's different than the book. Um, it takes place at a different hotel. Yeah. Um, well, Jack Nicholson does such an amazing job. Yeah. In it. Um, he's Jack Nicholson, basically. Uh, and it makes an appearance in one of my other favorite movies, Ready Player One. Yes, it does. I watched that the other night because it was on my iPad already. Nice. Mm-hmm. So I could watch it with no power. <laughs> Love that movie. So yes, The Shining, and there was a Halloween Horror Nights maze based on The Shining too, and it was great. Mm-hmm. So that's that's my list. Now, there is one that I want to watch that I haven't seen yet, so I didn't put it on my list. Mm-hmm. I Snow want Piercer. to see Snowpiercer. I knew. That. I figured that Snowpiercer would be on the list. is I good. I haven't I've seen, seen that it. movie. 
but I've watched the show, and the show is excellent. I love the show. They're in season two right now. It's on TNT. You can watch the first season on um, HBO Max. Um, or it's on TNT. If you have cable, you can watch the season one too. Um, but yeah, it's really good. It's like a basically. I think we talked about this before. It's a train. Okay, basically the Earth is frozen over, and this dude builds a train that circles the globe, and the only people on the train are the only people humans left in the world. The sequel to the day after tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I've been watching that, and then we had this crazy. You know, freeze here, and I was like, "Oh gosh!" And when the power went off, when the power went off, and then the the water went off, I'm like, "Oh, we're in Snowpiercer." And then there's train tracks behind my house, and you hear this train go by. I'm like, "Oh no, it's Snowpiercer. We're all dead." You need to to watch Summer Rental. Yeah, get this over with. Yeah, (laughs) it's all my fault. So I do want to watch the movie. I need to find out if it's on anything where I can actually see it. See? Yeah. Yeah, Why not? Like where I can just see it for free. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean that may I'm be sure it's on something you're paying for, but yeah, yeah, <laughs> I'll probably have to pay for it, but I want to watch it. So yeah, so that's you know, so Edward Scissorhands was on the list too. I don't, I, I saw don't remember yeah. that being a. I mean, winter. it's got snow in it. It's, there's snow. Snowpiercer is on Netflix. Oh, there you go. The movie. You there you go. On Netflix, go to Netflix. Oh, what I'm doing? Got Chris Evans <laughs> in it. Yes, and uh, King Ho Song. Of course, yeah. And the lady from Doctor Strange, creepy lady. Yeah. Easy plays creepy kind of characters. I watch a uh, a YouTuber called Justin Scard, and he does this channel called Random Land. And he recently went to the uh, the hotel in the Shining movie. That is based on, which the one in the movie, it was based on uh, Mount Hood Hotel somewhere in Mount Hood, but they didn't film anything there. <laughs> they just recreated it in England. Um, so, so that's sort of funny because the Stanley Hotel is what it's based on, and then they, the Timberline, yeah, Timberline, yeah, that's lodge, my mom they based the movie on. Why didn't they just base it on the Stanley Hotel? They're just going to build it somewhere else, you know. Right. So, Stanley Hotel is like creepy or anything. But they went in. He stayed at the Timberline, and it was it was cool looking. It looks nothing inside <laughs> like the movie at all. Well, that's nice. The outside looks like it sort of. It sort of. There's one shot in the movie, a helicopter shot, that is of the actual hotel, but then they rebuild it in England to film it. So there we go. There we go. There we go. There and, you go. And also, Hot Tub Time Machine. I was surprised oh. that one was a, summer, a winter movie as well. I don't remember that, but whatever. It's, it's a snow movie? I've never seen yeah. it, so I don't know. I don't, I've seen it, but I don't remember there being snow. But, I mean, it makes sense if there's a, a hot tub. It's You want to warm up, you get in the hot tub, right? Yeah, we got a hot tub. But we get in it there's, with one. There's, there's The Revenant. Like, I saw that one. Yeah. I never it seen is it. a good movie. You watch it once, you're never going to watch it again. I guess. <laughs> yeah, one of those it's, it's so uncomfortable. Yay. Uh, yeah, there's a bunch. Yeah. If you Google it, there's a bunch that show up. That we know. can we can read them off if you like. No. Okay. Yeah, I can go through here. Uh, the Gray. Winter's Bone. With Liam Neeson. Um, Frosty the Snowman. White Out with uh, Kate Beckinsale. I'll Dumb watch anything Dumb. with Kate Beckinsale. Oh. <laughs> I'll watch anything. Nice. <laughs> I'll watch her read the phone book. <laughs> I don't even have those anymore, do they? She's got she's got a great tone when she reads the phone book. It's, it's, <laughs> it's angelic as all the names come out of her mouth. There we go. <laughs> well, that's good. I mean, about in an mm-hmm. hour. Yeah, prom night showed up. I don't know why that is a prom night. Weird. Yeah, I guess prom there's snow in there. Some- you yeah, know watch weird. To take the take it to the opposite extreme. You know what I watched the other night? This will be what you're watching. What you're streaming? Nobody's. Oh gosh, I watched Fantasy Island the other night. Fantasy, Fantasy Island. Island. The the Bloom House or Blum House or whatever you say movie. Mm. Okay. Yeah, it was. It was pretty oh, good. Yeah, pretty good. The original series. No, no. 
<laughs> that flame. Bro. It's way that flame. different than the original <laughs> series. It's like a horror oh, yeah. movie. It's a horror movie. Yeah. Yeah. We're we're watching um, Henry Danger. Y'all seen that? Oh, up? you mean um, wait? What? What's the character thing? Because that's what Carol. my that's what my son calls it. Um, something man. Yeah, C- Captain Man. Captain Man. He goes. I want to watch Captain Man. I'm like, no, man. We it's started. We, my wife let him watch it, and yeah. And then she's. He's like, yeah, mom, let me watch it. I'm like, okay, let's turn it on. And I was like. She let you watch this? I'm like, this is not <laughs> for you. You're not old enough for this. We're kind of stuck in it now. <laughs> so There's that's what I turned. That's why I said, let's watch this because this one's sort of like it. Let's watch Sky High instead. Yeah, there you hey. go. It's better. Yeah. That's way better. That's good. They should make a series yeah, of Sky that is High. Good. Aren't they going to do that? I don't know. I don't know. They should. We've, we've been watching, like I said, uh, since um, <laughs> since we didn't have internet, um, we had. Uh, a couple seasons of Orphan Black huh. um, that we hadn't watched. We got them like cheap, like on Black Friday one time. We started watching that. It's a BBC show uh, basically about this girl who comes to realize that she's a clone and there are yeah. multiple versions of her out there. Um, it's a good show. It reminds me of like Alias. Yeah. I, I, I think I saw a little bit of it. Maybe that's what we, yeah. should, we should have done for this episode. What did you watch when you had no power or no no <laughs> internet or whatever? <laughs> what DVDs did you find in the back of the closet? Uh, that and a DVD of Friends. Um, no, you would not. I friends. know. Crazy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. All right. So I'm excited um, for the WandaVision that's coming out tonight, yep. tomorrow. Hopefully, there will be power to watch it. Uh, just pray for Texas that all the power. There's still people without power, so just pray for that. Keep it in your thoughts. Um, anything else? Some some movies coming out. We don't have Ooh. to talk deeply about them, but Cruella uh, trailer was launched this week. Oh, yes, yeah. right. Looks very good. Uh, yeah, yeah, Emma good. Stone. I about said Emma Watson earlier, in it, but it's Emma Stone, right? Yeah, yeah Emma yeah. Stone. Uh, I think it looks very good. Um, it's got dogs then, in it, so I don't know. <laughs> and then Mortal, Mortal Kombat, which yeah, Mortal Kombat. Kombat. Yeah. The only thing, the only thing that bothers me is uh, the guy with the laser eye. I can't think of his name. Kano. 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 Right. And it looks the laser looks ridiculous. Like it's like just the tiny little laser coming out of his well, eye. I mean, that's kind of what it is. It's in the game it is, too. but it's it just looks silly. And maybe they're trying to be funny, but the rest of it like, seems awesome, except that part. I'm just like, that looks so cheesy, you know? Yeah. It was fun at the end. Like, they, they just, they just like, go through a, yeah. just a run of fatalities. Yeah. 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 He's like, Kano wins! <laughs> <laughs> He's got, like, a heart in his hand. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. It'll be either oh, be wow. really, it'll either be good or it'll just be really bad. Oh, it's, I, I, yeah, I don't think it'll be cinema genius, but no. I think it'll be fun to watch. But it's going to be on HBO, HBO Max, right? Yeah, it's yes. going to be on HBO Max. So yeah, that's good. I'm happy about that. I am too. Kano wins. <laughs> Kano <laughs> wins. I love the first one. <laughs> so, um, yeah, the first one we were calling that's fun. It's an interesting yeah, play on Jax from the trailer, anyways. Oh, yeah. Sub Zero freezes his arms. Freezes his arms off. Yeah, so that, that, that is cool. <laughs> that's, that's <laughs> not that's Jimmy from Supergirl playing that. Oh. Character. Oh. oh, there we go. That's kind of funny. Although Cole, I don't know who Cole is. There's a character Cole in it. I guess he's a Mortal Kombat character. Oh, you know Cole. He's a secret character. He's a secret character? Maybe what he is. is. Um, what is Johnny? Johnny Ringo. Johnny Cage? <laughs> Isn't he that, his a son in one of the games. We, the, the one we I don't know. With. I've got to look him up. I meant to do that earlier. You mean the dude where he's like, I've had this birthmark forever. I'm yeah. Like, that's not a, I think that's his character from the movie. Is it just for the movie? I think he's supposed to be the next great fighter. Uh, he's like, you're he destined should, to be the next die. Mortal Kombat <laughs> fighter. Like, it's it's clearly, like, burned onto his skin. He's like, I've had this birthmark since I was a baby. <laughs> yeah, he must be... Yeah, Case, Oh, well, it was Casey Cage was his daughter in the game. Yeah, Casey yeah. Cage is his daughter. Yeah, I forgot about that. So, there we go. So we'll see. That comes out in sometime. I don't remember. <laughs> I, <forgot. laughs> I guess I should know this. I'm in next month or something like yeah, that. Yeah, something, something close. There's an article Kano. that says who is who is Cole Young. 
Yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty too. sure he's just from a movie or just for the movie. That's coming out in April sixth on April sixteenth of this year. That's not too too far, but yeah. that's a while. Yeah. Yeah. Anyways, all right. Well we we've lasted this long. The power awesome. the internet yeah. everything. So thank you guys for joining us. Um on this episode of I'm Geek. You guys got anything else? Nope. Well, all right, this has been episode. Happy holidays. Oh, is it all? Happy holidays. <laughs> I'm so confused now. Merry Christmas. <laughs> what holiday is it? Oh, sorry. Um, <laughs> I guess it's not. Ash Wednesday. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> people are giving up. Maybe that's why not too many people are on tonight. Um, oh, all of our Facebook, listeners, watchers, Facebook and YouTube have given up. <laughs> I am geek for Lent. Lent, (laughs) What are you giving up for Lent? I am geek. What? What is that? Oh, it's trust me. It's a it's a hardship to give them up. Yeah, quite hard. Uh, (laughs) Oh man. Sorry. Go ahead. (laughs) Next week, Chris will be like, I can't come on, dude. (laughs) Why can't you come on? I'm giving up. I am geek for Lent. (laughs) Uh, um, Our our father in the chat (laughs) said. That I saw a cliffhanger while Chris was working late as a projectionist. I forgot about that. Yeah, I ran projection and I was <laughs> running that movie, and he'd come and watch movies while I was running projection. That's fun. Oh, man. <laughs> All right, let's wrap this up before everything stops working on us. Anyway, so we'll be back next week. This has been episode 181 of I'm Geek. We'll see you next week as long as we have power.